Exciting things are happening in the Queen City of the Tesh, where everything old is becoming new again. On to New Iberia. It's time for a day trip. Over 180 years ago, settlers along the Bayou Tesh were part of the beginning of a thriving community. As agriculture flourished and a community was growing, it was a favorable time for a new church to be built. Church Alley was part of a donation for the new church. That Frederick the Peria had laid this out when he laid the town out and incorporated it to have a view from the church to his house. And then uh, later that became Mount Carmel. Unfortunately, Mr. DePerrier never saw the church from his home. Like land, two or three right? weeks after incorporating the town and donating the land and putting it all together, he passed away. Later, his home was sold to the congregation of Our Lady of Mount Carmel and opened as a Catholic school for girls, staying open until 1988. The girls and the nuns would use Church Alley to attend Mass at St. Peter's. Over time, it became underutilized. Uh, I would ride my bike to here, and so, yeah, I remember seeing it. It was a sidewalk and some tall grass and uh, just kind of a cut through. Mayor DeCourt and Jane Bro, Director of Planning and Zoning and Grants, realized Church Alley needed a makeover. The project took over a decade to get started. Finally came upon the Louisiana Recreational Trails Grant which was a perfect fit for this project. It created the Church Alley Pocket Park and a three and a half mile bike trail through two National Register Historic Districts. That's right, two. We own the Shadows on the Tesh, which is located on Main Street. It's a National Trust property. And so it's the only property on a Main Street, in a Main Street program, only one in the whole country. Architect Paul Allen grew up in New Iberia and was happy to get involved. It was a uh space between two buildings. It was very blighted. Um, and uh, this concept of pocket parks seems to be uh, an interesting uh, development that Louisiana is pushing. His design helps to contain the space. Inspiring sort of creation uh, with the arches to contain the space so it wasn't just open to the air. Um, it's really interesting at night because the lights light up and it gives a canopy effect. The project only ran into a few delays, but they worked together with the building owners, contractors, and utilities. The utility companies who were servicing these areas wanted to take care of some abandoned lines that were here uh, and kind of bring everything back up to their standards. It's all part of a larger project to redevelop downtown and expand it to benefit more people. Uh, the George Rodriguez Park, an expansion of the museum, and um, we've got a marina um, adjacent to the boardwalk. It brings the community together and benefits the businesses. And the success, I think, is attributed to our downtown investors. You know, they take it upon themselves to invest their dollars. It just adds to the vibrancy and excitement of, um, of downtown. Anytime you can enhance